Hi, Gary Golka here from DAS. Uh, you're looking at a K2 that's been modified uh, using our three-axis G4 sensor into a K2 meter. We made the circuit small enough so that we can retrofit it into a number of different instruments that we we have and or make, including our pods, our mel meter, and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate this in a minute and uh, before I do I want to point out a couple of things. This does not have any indicator lights for G-force. This can detect G-force um, through acceleration X, Y, and Z axis. So when those coordinates, those particular coordinates are influenced externally on the K2 meter, you'll hear a very defined and distinctive tone that correlates to each of the three directions or axis. So let me see if I can demonstrate that for you right now. First thing I'm going to do is it's sitting on a plate. I'm going to move the K2 gently left to right or right to left however you want to talk about it and listen for the tone there's one tone now we're going to go top to bottom 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock there's your second axis now I'm going to lift it up towards the camera Okay, so again, let's see if I can do that and see if you can hear the difference in the sound. Now this is kind of cool because not only do you have a K2 meter that can detect EMF influence, you also have the ability of differentiating any forces that might be exerted on the device coming from three axis. Now the probabilities that you would hear more than one tone associated at any particular point in time is very remote unless it's vibrating being moved or some forces are exerted on the accelerometer that's inside of this you shouldn't hear any tones so this can actually help you to validate your experience in the field a little bit better let's try it again There you go. K2 that's been modified with vibration detection or acceleration, G-force detection, three axis, still a working K2 meter with an additional feature built into it from DAS.